Hey, hey, hey guys, and welcome to a quick video tutorial on how to download and install the Resonant Rise 3 mod pack um, configured in the way that we're going to be using it on the Hypermind server uh, so that you guys can play along with us. So first thing you're going to do is go to the description of this video and find the first link for the atlauncher.com downloads page. I'm going to go to that website and we're going to download the um, installer that is appropriate for the operating system you're using. So we're using Windows. So we're going to download that. We're not going to launch it. We're going to go show in folder and put that onto this monitor. I've got two here. So what we want to do is we want to create uh, a folder to run this in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and then I'm going to find a place to, to hold my th my um, my install. So this can be in your my documents or in the root of your C drive or somewhere similar. So I'm going to create a new folder, call it AT Launcher, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Somewhere where you can find it. Uh, go in there, paste. There we go. And now we're going to run that executable. And it's going to do a load of clever stuff. And this you can basically just choose the default. And there we go. Awesome. So first thing we do before we do anything else, we're going to set up um, we're going to set up an account. OK, so basically leave this on add, a, add an account. We're going to put in our username. Um, and our password for our Minecraft account. Okay, so once you've added your account and you'll see it down here, um, your username, um, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install uh, the pack as uh, we use it um, as close as possible as you can through the launcher. Now you can do this manually or um, if you look down in the description, the um, second link will be the second link will be a, a share code um, link for uh, the configuration of the pack as we um, use it so if you click on that it's going to download uh, a file called at launch launcher launch tool dot jar um, now you may get some warnings about this because it's a dot jar um, so yeah, that's kind of up to you to choose but uh, if you trust it then you can click on there and then launch it and then what will happen is it will basically install it will it'll help you install the pack um, as we uh, use it it will select the correct version of the of the resonant rise pack um, so if we just click install um, and scroll down you'll see that lots of boxes have been ticked so that will save you the effort of doing that um, what you're going to want to do here is look at the client mods um, and just tweak these client mods here to your taste so for myself uh, i would probably tick voxel map um, and i would probably tick mouse tweaks uh, and i think i'd be good at that um, so then you can just click install and it's going to download everything for you um, and create a new instance in the instances tab and a few minutes later you'll get this message here and we could click OK go to instances and we'll find our pack that is now the pack ready to go we can click play and let it launch um, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Um, so I will endeavor to keep the uh, the most important part of information, that share link, up to date with any updates that we do on the server. Um, so you can keep current with us nice and easily. Okay, so one final thing um, be before we go. Um, once you've got this loaded and running um, and you come to create your world um, 
you want to choose the more world options um, and there are a load of extra options over the normal ones um, in here so these are the normal vanilla options then there is actually a mod in that produces three new brand new types of world fun world gen which is like big floaty islands all over the place in a void old world gen which is kind of like beta world generation or beta world generation and um, realistic alpha which produces the most stunning worlds but they're really really resource hungry and laggy um, to the point where you might crash your client often and um, we're going to be going with biomes of plenty so if you want to produce um generate a world that looks like ours um roughly <laughs> uses the same sort of generation choose biomes of plenty and then you can create your world um but that's an adventure for you to follow uh this video is over thank you for watching um i hope you enjoy and until next time guys Take care of yourselves.